All right, what's up, my Task Gown 2488 Neo Hippies? This is Paige, and I'm here with a new video. This one's gonna be on the Roland Verse Lab MV1. Yes, today we're gonna be working on mute groups. I know you see it there. Let me fix it back to where it's supposed to be. Yes, today we will be working on mute groups. We're gonna be choking some hi hat symbols today. All right, and as you know, I'm gonna do this three times. This video only has one item on it, and I hope that you guys are learning from these videos. Hopefully, we will have about a hundred of these. Hopefully, you know, because your man do, you know, make music all night. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. When you start the verse lab up, it is gonna be in song mode. You're gonna go to sequence mode. Let's say you have imported three symbols in two hi-hats uh closed and one open just like me that hi-hat is not being choked so i want to put those three pads in a mute group so that every time i hit that open hi-hat one of these two can choke it all right and that's the same thing if you're using samples that need to be cut off by another sample all right, so let's get into it. The way that you do this is you're gonna hit edit and press the pad, the first one. Now, you're gonna see yourself at instrument edit. Push the value knob in, bam. You're gonna find yourself at level first. Go ahead and just scroll with the value knob until you get to mute group. Now, once you're on mute group, push it in, one. And then you have an option of using anywhere from one to 31 to do this. I'm just gonna use one because I'm showing you how to do it. All right, once you've found the mute group you wanna be in, click your value knob, move to the next pad, click your value knob, then turn to one or whatever one, you know, whatever number you used, but in my case, I'm using one, bam. And then my next pad, click your value knob, turn to one or whatever number you used, I'm using one, bam. Now, when I do this, All right, and that is how you place your samples in mute groups. Now, I'm using this as the best way of showing you this, but it works for samples. So if you had a long running sample that needs to go behind another sample and you want them to cut each other off, you can do that same thing too. Now, let's go back and do it again so that I know that you got it. All right, and I'm going to put that on level, put it back. When you open the verse lab, or when you turn the verse lab on, open like it's a VST. This is a DAW, though. But when you turn the verse lab on, it's going to be in song mode. You have been working. You drug in some samples that work for you, a couple hi-hats, and now you want them to choke each other. You're going to place them in mute groups. The way you do that is by hitting edit. Hit the pad. You're gonna see yourself at instrument edit. Click the value knob, bam. Turn the value knob until you find yourself on mute group. Press the value knob in, bam. Now you can either turn here or here. You have 31 options, 31 flavors. You can put all of them on one, which that's what I'm gonna do. And then go to the next pad, click the value knob, put it on one, click the value knob. Put it on one. So I went from pad to pad to pad and I put them in the group that I wanted them to be in. Now, all right, let's do it again. I'm going to let me clean this out. All right. So when you start the verse lab MV1 up, it's gonna be in song mode, you've been working. You're in sequence. You have some hi-hats or a group of samples that you put in that you want to be in the same group so that they can shut each other off or choke out in my case with these hi-hats. So how do you do that? You're gonna hit edit. Then you're gonna find yourself on inst edit. Click the value knob by pushing it in, bam. Then you're gonna find yourself on level first, 
go ahead and scroll using the value knob until you find yourself on mute group. Push in, turn to whatever number from one to 31, click it. Hit the next pad, turn it to whatever number you want. In my case, I'm using one, click it in. Hit the next pad, push the value knob, turn to wherever you want. But in my case, I'm using one. And now, and that's how you use mute groups. You guys have a good day. And thank you so much for watching my video to the end. I hope that this has been helpful to someone who needs this kind of help. Thank you so much and goodbye.